Hey guys, it's Val. Welcome to the final episode of Beyond Two Souls. I can't believe that we're finally here. This game has felt very different for me to play, um, but I've really enjoyed the change of pace. Despite the janky responses to some of the QTEs, overall, it's been really fun to put the story together. Now, I wanted to share some things that I think that I figured out uh, before we get to the ending and everything is revealed. Uh, so feel free to skip ahead uh, if you'd like. I marked the start of the chapter um, on the video timeline for you. So it's been a little over a week since I last recorded. So I've, I've had time to really marinate what's going on in the story. And first off, I think Aiden is our twin. Well, the spirit of him at least. Since our parents had some kind of supernatural powers, we were able to be special too. Um, and also not just having powers as well, but in that we were able to keep a part of Aiden with us when he passed at birth. So that also explains our ability to be able to talk to dead people, right? Because of my twin connection to Aiden, um, he's technically part of the dead world and part of the living world. And through me, he acts as a microphone, basically. Also, I want to point out, as the stories progress, there's something weird about Nathan, okay? I don't like, first off, that he called my mother Nora unstable. And I honestly, I do believe that he knows more about what happened to Nora back then, or he even possibly had a hand in what happened to her. Because think about it, okay? He's always had a hand in all the DPA stuff. And it made it easier if my mother, who knew about all their bullshit, was out of the picture. So they could manipulate me from birth because it, it would take me too long to realize it. And that would give them more time to use me. And isn't it funny that as soon as I said that I was done helping the CIA, that I was done with everybody, all of a sudden Nathan tells me that I can get my freedom if I just do one more mission for them. So I'm pretty sure they're either gonna try to off me or maybe they figured out some kind of way to control me. Whatever happens, I'm ready for it though. I'm ready to see where the story goes. So yeah, let's go. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. There's Ryan. Sorry about your eye, buddy. Pentagon top brass getting you down? Ugh. Big boys and their new toys. <laughs> I preferred to leave before barfing all over their carpet. We played our part in all of this. Mm, I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. So what are you gonna do now? Mm, I don't know. I think I need some time to, to figure it out figure out what I really want. <laughs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen, Jody, I, 
I know it's been complicated between us. And I, I didn't always do the right thing. I don't know that you ever did the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something fuck? together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. And I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. I don't know. We have something in common. We both care about you. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's ah, looking for you. Come on. So glad you're not office. dead, Cole. Later, Ryan. I don't know why I thought oh, Nathan was you know gonna what? I got a single you. malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? This way, Jody. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Well, just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. That felt purposeful. Jesus, look at that thing. All right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Oh, oh, I knew it. Thank you, Cole. I freaking knew it. Come in. <sighs> freaking Nathan. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. Mm -hmm. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. That's dark. Okay. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Is that what happened to my dad? Only $500,000? For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Mm. I'm starting a new life. I don't need your money. I don't want anything that reminds me of the old one. Yeah, take that shit. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging in my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. 
was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Gave me everything I needed to study the infra world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. They don't look happy. It's Hello, like my you darlings. trapped them there. I miss you so much. Let them go, Nathan. That is Just sick. See them every day. Soon we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead Jody, can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Nathan. Nathan, they're dead. They're in the infra world now. You cannot make them come back. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. Voices for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. I'm begging you. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Really giving this to him? Helen, my darling. That's not a happy face. Thank you so much. Let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. You've got to let us go! Let us die! You... You're lying. Helen didn't say that, you did. Look at him, Nathan. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. You wanted to talk to them. You heard what they had to say. Goodbye, Nathan. I hope you find peace. Jesus. can tell they're in pain like I don't even know them <laughs> like can tell time to get out of here is this an elevator yeah oh what the fuck Hi, Jody. Uh, this fucker. Good to see you again. 
Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Like my mother. Exactly what we did with your mother. Mm. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always be grateful for your help. Obvious, but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you? What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. That doesn't it's sound good. Souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh, he's fucking crazy. You need to trust me. Everything <laughs> is gonna turn out fine. Ah, oh, hell. Oh, hell. So I get to save the world again. You're too weak, Aiden. Find something else. Uh, there ain't much in here. Dang, he is sweet. He's barely moving. Oh. Get help. Hurry. What the hell? I'm not controlling this. Cole? Where's the rest of your team? Cole! Vince and Nick? <laughs> They have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Go help me. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Yes, help me before you get drunk. Help me, Cole. Help me. Come on, Ryan. You remember this? Cole here. Hello? Hello? You can't explain that. Come on. Come on, guys. No freaking way. Knock over this wine. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Okay. Iden? Yes. Is that you, Iden? Yes. This is a joke, it's not funny. That's me. What is it, Iden? Where's Jody? Help, help. I feel like Lassie. Lead us to no. Jody, Iden. Show us the way. Sh sh show you? How do I show you? Right. Now where? Here. Do you see me? 
This way. Yeah, yeah. Over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I can't do it. There we go. Okay, I get it. Yes. Okay, come on, guys. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Yes. Not authorized to be down here. Shit, a guard. Uh, leave it to me. Can I help you? Cole Freeman. I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, but this is level I'm four. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. Hmm. You do not have the right credentials. Let me take care of him, Cole. You gotta get us past Maiden. How? Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. Oh. <laughs> I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? Only Cole can get in, right? I'm... Sorry, you are on the list. That's right. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. I'm trying. I'm trying. I think it's this room. I do that. Jody's here? I think so. Can you come in there? Jody. Get in. Oh, we did it. Amazing. Okay. He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. Oh, I knew it. I knew we it. gotta stop him. Oh, too fucking late. Oh, no. uh, the containment field. Oh, Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. I know. The building's not gonna change anything. This Where are we going? Way. Hurry up! Don't stay here! Get out of here! Now! Okay. Gotta get out! Now! Should I fight this way? No. Should we leave? There might still be a chance to reactivate the. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, we can't be leaving. Jesus! They're out! They're all out! This is like karma, you know? In this place. No! Jody! 
You're the only one who can stop this. Doc has just got mad. He took down the field. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Damn, girl. Clayton, get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> oh! Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. Maybe. All right, Cole. Can you do it, Cole? Probably not, right? Like, look at that thing. Should I be helping somehow? Whoa. I can't stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. I will exit the building immediately. Oh, Cole, you got stuck on a chair. Hurry! We're out of time! I'm sorry I'm slow walking here. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. Let me do it. It's a long shot. It's the best I know. You're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here with the military clean up their own fucking mess. Alright. Guess no. we're grabbing Cole's a suit. Right. It's our only chance. Yeah, come on, Ryan. <laughs> I just figured I'd die a hero. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. The black sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Oh my god, not my sweet coal? I can't coal die. It's too precious. Oh hell, oh hell. I mean, do the we need this? zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. My dad, Ryan. Let's go. Oh, shit. It's okay. Can you go so I can? I'm sorry. 
heart, princess. Oh my god. You're gonna have to go in without me. Not cold. No, I'm not leaving you guys. Fine. The black sun, Jody. The black sun. Or nobody will make it. He's right. Come on, Jody. Damn, Cole. Fucking choking up there. Oh, we're healing your ass. There we go. Okay, we healed him. Aiden has done all he can. Okay. We should be okay. And maybe this way he'll live because will blow up right in the thing. The self-destruct. like our Ryan! mom. Oh shit, we lost Ryan. Ryan! Alan! Laura! Oh my god, Nathan. I can't find them. I call them, but they don't come. Uh. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Your anger has changed you. I miss them. I miss them so much. Boy, you better. Let me pass, Nathan. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. Jody's smiling. <laughs> You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. That was fucked up, Nathan. Jody, fuck it. There you are. What happened? He found what he was looking for. Come on. Lord. Are we almost there?
monsters! Got these damn bells for the day. It's not working. What? You sure? Just check the panel. Fuck. I'm telling you, it's not working. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta think. I gotta think of something. Come on. Fuck. Here. No. No. no, no. I don't need that. You should chance to destroy the Black Sun. Just take this no, and no, do it. No, no. Those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. As soon as I put this on, you're gonna be gobbled up, aren't you? Oh, but ask permission yeah, first. <laughs> My God, he got his kiss after all, didn't he? Little weasel. Inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Julie. It's too late. You must have found to sell it. leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me.
Is this being in both worlds, life and death? Am I gonna choose to go with Aiden? Another side. Another world. Oh, Shimashami. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. Being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. Okay. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. They really want me to love Ryan, don't they? Ah! Well, I'll get to the beyond eventually. So we should live our life. It's not like the beyond will never be there for me. We did it. Yeah. I did it. But yeah, we were both are alive. Let's go check on Cole. Biden? We made it. Jody, we made it. Aiden? This is kind of like where I live now. Well, not the house, but Ever outside. since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Hence why the story was all jumbled. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. 
The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. Okay. Why would I choose to live with Jay? Uh, I know me and Ryan have a lot of history, but God, he was such an ass for like, 80% of this game. And isn't Zoe and them all homeless? I think it's time to be alone and maybe start over. So obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I told Ryan I couldn't see my future with him. We've been through too many difficult times together. Times I want to forget. He said he understood that he'd wait as long as it takes. I know I felt something for him, but just wasn't strong enough. How could I live a normal life again after all I've been through? Hell, who wants to live a normal life anyway? A boyfriend, a job counting the days till my next vacation. I wanted it for so long, but I finally realized that that life wasn't for me. So I took to the road. I've seen many rifts to the other side. Hundreds of them all over the country. Homes where strange things happen. Motel rooms that no one ever wants to sleep in again. Entities are all around us. They live in our houses sleep in our beds. They're with us every second of every day. I know they're lurking in the shadows.
know how much I've missed you. So I'm not really alone after all. I see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Next time, I'll kill everyone. Oh my God, I was so afraid I lost. There's no telling what we'll find, Yanya. How much time do we have after we activate the self destruct We're not coming back. Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Do it, He's more than amazing.